Were you aware that India has struggled against left arm pace recently? And did that give you any confidence coming into this match? Yeah, I've known that for a while, um, especially left handers with the ball swinging back in. Um, so that was that was a good thing for me. And uh, also the angle going across them. And most importantly, not giving them any width. You've worked extremely hard in your fitness for the past few months. How much has this contributed to your success, in your opinion? A lot, because it actually helped me to be consistent. Um, I've been experienced playing in Indian conditions and in England, and it actually helped with different batsmen um, that plays different shots. And the conditions have actually taught me that I have to be smarter, and I also have to have a clear head. Brandon, what were your thoughts when you walk to the crease to open for the West Indies today? Well, the same as always, try and get the team off to, to a good, good start. Um, it went well for, for me um, in the first couple of overs and I decided to carry that momentum on and try to take it as deep as possible for the team. You're building up a little bit of form now. Just how important was that score in your development? Um, it's, it's always good um, getting getting um, half centuries and, and runs for, for you personally, but more importantly for the team. You know. Opening is an important job in T20 cricket and trying to get the team in a good position to finish the game. Obed, 6 for 17, best ever figures by a West Indian bowler in T20 cricket. Just a word on that. How proud are you and what did you do today that you think attributed, contributed sorry, to that success? I'm proud because I've been putting in the hard work um, after having the injury for many months um, that had actually made me um kind of depressed in a way i wasn't playing cricket and the hard work i've been putting in it actually helped a lot and i i just i can't really explain the feeling but all i can say is hard work pays off and brandon what do you think contributed to your success today with the bat um uh, develop a consistency of approach um, and just um carrying a bit more energy in, in hockey um i go about things you know and um, staying positive at all times it's worked out for me. The series is now level. Firstly, you are bed and then you, Brandon. What do you think will be the important areas for the West Indies to either work on improving or maintain going throughout this series? Obed? I think we just have to be smart, um, smarter, I guess. Uh, knowing, knowing the condition of the pitch early in the innings, um, going with that intent, being positive. And uh, we just have to go down to our natural game as well. Yeah, um, looking at this game, I think we bowled and fielded extremely well. You know, maybe some areas in the batting we could just improve, just having some more partnerships. You know, especially chasing a, a smaller total like 139, we look to improve in that area. But I think the confidence among the group is, is very high, and we we'll hope to continue tomorrow. Uh, <coughs> well, first of all, congratulations for such a dream spell. You know, coming this against one of the most high-profile batting lineup. How do you feel and which wickets you enjoy? The, the, because all are dangerous, the top order or the middle order? Um, it's a great feeling coming against a top team like India. We know they have a lot of T20 stars and they play great cricket all the time. Um, I want to say I have a favorite wicket, but I, I'm happy that I actually got Rohit out because the last innings he played, he made some runs and I think that actually put the rest pass me under pressure losing him that early in the innings. Do you think the way the first ball you started and uh, you uh, surprised Rohit, that was uh, something that signaled the you know the kind of downfall we saw. That was yeah. more the wicket was more than uh, more than a wicket. It just gave a strong message to the Indian team. Yeah, I, I think I think that gave us the momentum, um, the extra bounce on the off the pitch. Uh, that really helped, and you know it's just about hitting right areas and getting the batsmen to play where you want them to and being consistent. West Indies will be far competitive and far dangerous side in the T20. The way you have come back, do you think that there is strong possibility of taking a 2-1 lead tomorrow? Of course, um, like we always back ourselves to win every game. Um, uh, tomorrow is another day. Um, we won't, won't take anything from today other than the confidence and we'll try to win tomorrow. My final question, uh, on, on your Indian attack, if, if especially the Arshdeep Singh, uh, what, what do you make of him? Can you repeat that? Singh, his, his bowling. Mm. What do I make of it? Yeah. I mean, all, all these guys, I won't pick a single amount, all these guys are, are experienced, maybe not internationally, but all these guys are experienced playing IPL and, and that sort of thing. Um, so, I mean, it's just a challenge on any other bowler.